a pro-life Republican has just seen the light. You know, um, with this Supreme Court justice uh, fiasco coming to pass, and uh, with women scared to death about losing all of their control of their bodies, it is amazing because I think Republicans are starting to see the light. Even their women are starting to say, wait, can we really allow men the total control of our bodies as they have before? Can we really allow these religious quacks who we know what they do behind the scenes. They preach one thing, they do something else. Can we really have those people controlling who we really are or what we really can do? Well, it seems like Rick Tyler, a Republican strategist, is starting to see the light. Healthcare, a right from a Republican? Check this out, we'll take it on the other side. This Supreme Court, five days after the election, is going to hear the case that threatens to completely overturn the Affordable Care Act, something that Donald Trump has been trying to do his entire administration. The health care, health insurance coverage of 20 million people is at risk. That is what is on the mind of the American voters. And so I think to the question of who's motivated, it is women, it is young people, it is people of color who've seen this administration try to take away voting rights, women's rights, LGBTQ rights, and realizes that this next appointment on the Supreme Court is going to mean something not just for the next administration, but for decades to come. Let me make an argument real, really quickly about a pro-life argument for uh, for the Health Care Act that was just mentioned, the ACA. Uh, taking away pre-existing conditions, in my view, as someone who is pro-life, uh, is wrong because because if, if life is, to me, uh, inviolable, then protecting life is inviolable, which means pre-existing conditions that you have to protect uh, and maintain life if you're truly going to be pro-life. And so I would urge the pro-life community to look at uh, health and health care and that health care is a right. And why is it a right? Because we have a right to maintain life. Wow, that is Rick Tyler, a Republican strategist. I would kind of try to consider or I would kind of encourage them to also look at the jail industrial complex, the prison industrial complex, as a pro-life issue as well. I will also cons try to con uh, convince them to consider the food stamp program a life issue, a pro-life issue. I would consider asking them for all the, the support of parents getting, uh, getting child support, a pro-life issue as well. The amount of people that die for the lack of these types of social services far likely exceed what they call abortion or, or the, the deaths caused by abortion. Remember, we don't really know. I don't, I sure don't know where life really begins. I, I am not smart enough to possibly know that. So how could we possibly think we can tell women what they can do with their own bodies, something growing in their own bodies? How can we possibly be so presumptuous? to say that this woman can have her own, own relationship with her God and her body. That's not our place. So pro-life has very little to do with wanting life. Pro-life is just a moniker with no meaning. If you are pro-life, you are against the death sentence. If you are pro-life, you are for giving people food stamps. If you are pro-life, you are for ensuring that mothers can take mothers and fathers have the access to take care of kids, to be able to put them wherever they want. If you are pro-life, all those issues that enhance life, that prevents prevent the loss of life. That is pro-life. And for all that I've always known about what progressives stand for, the true pro-lifers are progressives. I'm Egberto Willis, host of Politics Done Right, an independent news program. I post several news videos of interest every day. I ask you so kindly to subscribe to my channel and please leave me some comments. Thank you very much.